Hey everyone, Effie here. Today I'm going to show you how I made this trio of cards using our Butterfly Wings collection. I'm going to start off with the Swallowtail, then the Monarch, and then the Morpho stamp set. Now today's video is a little different. I kind of show you how I made all three in the same video, but since they were all made using the same technique, I kind of wanted to show them side by side. So I'm gonna emboss the wings first onto some regular cardstock. After I stamp both sides of the wings with Versamark ink, which is a clear sticky embossing ink, I stamped the body. Then I poured on some embossing powder. However, for the Morpho stamp, I stamped it in some black pigment ink first, and then I poured clear embossing powder. So the other two are a little different. I used glitter embossing powder, and then for the Morpho, I used pigment ink and clear embossing powder, and here is what all three look like embossed. Next, I made some masks for our wings with some scrap paper. So I placed the stamps back on their acetate sheets, inked them up with our vanilla frosted cupcake dye ink, stamped it onto some scrap copy or printer paper, and then I fussy cut them out. And then I used some thermal web adhesive to temporarily adhere these masks onto my panels. Now this is a really great adhesive because you can use it as permanent or temporary because if you just rub it off with a rubber eraser, the adhesive does come off. So it's really, really versatile. Next, I'm gonna blend on some of our inks onto my panel, which have the masks on. And you can see the combination of inks that I've used. I've listed them all on the screen and I will also list them in the description box below. I used at least two colors for each panel. I feel like that ombre look is really gorgeous and you get a lot of beautiful interest. And I just blended all the colors into each other. Once the blending was complete, I carefully removed the mask. And if you have any excess adhesive on your panel, just take a rubber eraser and erase or take off all of that glue. Next, I'm gonna color in my wings using Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers. For the swallowtail panel, I used light violet first, then lilac as my mid-tone, and then deep violet as my deepest, darkest shading. And I went in that order. I will list all of the products that I use for each panel. So once I finish coloring in the wings, I just stamp the sentiment. The thank you sentiment comes in one of the butterfly wing set in our noir dye ink. And my panels are complete. I thought it would be fun to show how all three were made side by side since the same techniques were used, but since we used different colors, the results you get were very different. So let me know if you enjoyed this video or not in the comments. And also if you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel because I update it on a regular basis. Thanks so much for watching guys. I'll see you next time.